Hey grade 10, today we are going to be doing bisecting lines and angles. It pretty much doesn't change, so I'm only going to do one example for each, but let's just get started. So we're going to start off with the line. You can see we have got um, the line over here. I'm actually just going to label the points to make it easier. So we've got line A and we've got line, or line AB. Okay. When you want to bisect a line, you're going to take your compass and you're going to take a measurement just slightly greater than the halfway point of the line as you can see as I've done here and you are going to make little bows so you can see from A I've made these two little bows I'm hoping you can see it I'm going to make them just a little bit darker just in case you can't see it make sure yours are light though obviously you guys want your sweet construction lines okay then we are going to do the next arcs using the same length from point B and you can see that we have now got two little crisscrosses and then once you have got your crisscrosses you are going to draw a line going through the center just like this over here and that is how you bisect your line bisecting obviously means breaking it into half okay so now that we have got that done and dusted we are going to do the angle part so the angle is almost the same um, definitely the same concept so you're going to start off by taking your compass and from the corner of the angle you're going to make a circle so you can see that I have done that just like this over here and then from the circle you're going to make an arc here so we're going to actually label these points again so we've got point C and point D so we are going to go from point C and we're obviously going to make an arc as I've done already and then from D we are going to make an arc again so you can see that we've got criss crisscross here as well and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler and you're going to take the corner of the angle straight through like that and there you have bisected your angle okay so this is pretty simple but if you didn't know how to do it now you know and I hope that this helps